Hey guys, so the newest expansion to Force of Will comes out today, so I thought I'd just make a quick top 10 list of the cards that I'm most looking forward to trying out. Just wanted to start by saying that this is a very, very good set, and picking just 10 cards is actually pretty tough, but let's jump right in and see what I picked out. At number 10, I have Demon of the Crest. This is a Resonator that when it enters your field, it deals 400 damage to another J Ruler or Resonator, as long as you have Mars as your ruler. It has swiftness, so it can attack that same turn, and then if it survives at the end of the turn, it goes back to your hand. So this might not seem like a lot, but if you have two or three of them doing this every turn, the damage can add up, so this is a pretty decent card, I think. At number 9, I've got Flame Dragon of Altea. He is a 1200-1200 flyer, and you can actually cast him for as little as two red stones. You don't see too many big flyers in the game, so a 1200 by 1200 is, is pretty decent. Next up at number 8 we've got Captain Hook. He is a resonator and when he comes into play you can either put two of your opponent's special stones back onto their deck or else two of their uh, resonators back into their hand. So if you play a couple of these guys right after each other uh, it's really going to slow your opponent down give you a good lead there so number 8 Captain Hook. At number 7 I've got Charlotte's Water Transformation Magic. This is a quick cast spell that can turn one of your opponent's resonators into a 400-400 bear until end of turn. It's cheap to cast, it's uncommon, it can really screw over your opponent. At number 6 I've got Fiery Chariot. He is a 1400-1400 with first strike. The nice thing I like about him is that he deals a bunch of damage as soon as he comes into play, and if you can use multiple colors to summon him, he will do even more damage. So if you're running a multicolored deck, this is one guy you want to definitely look at. Number 5 is the Ox King. So he starts out as a 1500-1500. Uh, but every time he damages a resonator and that resonator goes to the graveyard, you get to put five 100-100 counters on him. And they're permanent counters, so pretty much every time he kills a creature, he gets an extra 500-500. So he can be a pretty big beast by the end of the game. Up next at number four, we've got Invitation of Disaster. This is a card that can potentially do 2,000 damage to your opponent. So that's a crazy amount of damage, and we're going to see a lot of games probably end with this card, so this is an easy pick for number 4 here. At number 3 we have our first J Ruler, Zero. So she is an 1100-1100. The nice thing about her is she cannot be dealt damage in combat. Additionally, she makes all of your opponents lose a ton of their abilities. So their flying is gone, their first strike is gone, their swiftness is gone. Uh, but yeah, Zero, she's our first J Ruler on the list at number 3. In our runner-up spot, we got Azathoth. He is a 2000-2000 Resonator, and he does have a few big drawbacks, but the one thing I really like about him is that every time he attacks or blocks, you get to destroy target Resonator. Additionally, whoever he is attacking or blocking is probably going to get destroyed as well, so this guy can clear the board pretty easily. So number two for him, even with his big drawbacks there. So I'm a little shocked here, I actually have a common card as my number one pick in the set. So Melt to Nothing, it is a spell that gives all of your resonators the ability to rest to return uh, a resonator your opponent controls to their hand. Uh, they gain that ability just for one turn, but it is a quick cast spell so it can be cast at any time. And as long as you have more resonators than your opponent, you can really turn the tide of the battle, I'd say. So it's a common card, it's going to be available to everyone, and I know I'm going to be putting a bunch of these in any blue deck I'm playing. Uh, but yeah, number one, Melt Nothing. Thanks for sticking around, hopefully you enjoyed the list. Uh, like I said, this was a very tough list to come up with, and there were a lot of good cards that I left out of it, unfortunately. But I guess let me know in the comments what you think your favorite cards are, and if you think I missed any good ones. See you guys later.